These problems are similar to the back side of the study guide, so that you can have success doing problems on the front side of the study guide. The study guide questions are always similar to test problems. So let's take a look at number 13. And on this problem, we want to do opposite operations to isolate the variable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this negative 2 and I'm going to add it to both sides of this equation. And when I do that, I'm now left with the constants only on the right side. So I've got 4y equals 2y plus 10. Well, from this point, I need to isolate the variable. And since I've brought the constant to the right side, I'm going to bring the variable to the left. So I'm going to go ahead and take away 2y from both sides to cancel out the y's on the right-hand side. But what I do to one side must do the same to the other. So I'm going to take 2y away from that side as well. So what I'm left with is a positive 2y equals 10. Now from this point, I have one final step. All I have to do is get rid of that coefficient that's in front of the variable. I'm going to divide by 2 to cancel out the 2's on the left-hand side. And what I do to one side, I must do the same to the other. So I'm going to divide by 2 on that side as well. Well, what we're left with is y equals 5 because 2 goes into 10 five times. So, looking at another problem. Now this problem is similar to number 1 on the front of the study guide. Let's take a look at a problem that's similar to number 4 on the front of the study guide. And when I do that, I'm going to take a look at number 10 on the back side. So number 10 <coughs> is a little bit more difficult because we have a parenthesis to remove. It says 5 minus, and then we have a parenthesis. So that means that we need to do the work inside the parentheses if we could, but we can't. So we're going to end up having to use the distributive property. And this all equals 1 plus 2. The 2 is being multiplied by a difference of x and 3. So what we want to do first on this problem is eliminate these parentheses by using that distributive property. So when we're doing this, a common mistake is people want to distribute the 5 over this difference. But we don't do that. It's wrong. What we want to do is we want to distribute the number that's in front of the parentheses, directly in front. If we don't see one, like we don't see a number here, we can always put a 1. And we can take this negative 1 and distribute that over that subtraction. Over here, we don't want to add these two numbers. We want to multiply first, because that's what order of operation says, to multiply before you add. So we're going to take this positive 2, and we're going to distribute it over that subtraction. So let's see what's left over. We've got this 5 that we'll bring down. And when we multiply, the signs are all going to change. It becomes a negative x and a positive, positive 2. So watch the sign right here. Negative times a negative makes a positive. This all equals 1 plus, then 2 times x makes 2x. And 2 times negative 3 makes a negative 6. So from this point, we've eliminated the parentheses. Now we want to collect some like terms. So let's take a look at the like terms on the left-hand side. Well, I see this positive 5, and I see a positive 2. When I look at like terms and I collect, I always look at the signs in front, never a sign behind. So the signs in front. So this is a positive 5. And a positive 2. So when I add those two numbers together, I add them because they're the same sign, I end up with 
a positive 7. So bring that 7 down and minus x. Always make sure you bring down the sign that's in front of the term. This all equals. Now we get to combine some more like terms. So <clears throat> we have this positive 1. It's a positive 1 because you look at the sign in front. Positive 1. And then here we have a minus 6. So here we have opposite signs. So opposite signs tell me to subtract. So when I subtract these two numbers, I have more negatives than positives. So I have minus 5. Bring down the plus sign, bring down the 2x. Well, now we've got a problem just like we had on number 13. So we've simplified down to that degree. And so what we want to do here is isolate the variable. So this time I'll decide to bring the variable to the right-hand side. So I'm going to do the opposite of a minus x. I'm going to add x to both sides. And when I do that, now I've got all the variables on the right-hand side. So I still have my constant 7, and it equals negative 5 plus 3x. And now I need to isolate the variable further by eliminating the constant on the right-hand side and bringing all constants to the left. So that's a minus 5, so I'm going to go ahead and add 5 to both sides. Now when I do that, I have a 7 plus 5, which gives me 12. So now I have 12 equals, and I bring down that 3x. So my last step is to get rid of that coefficient that's in front of x. The way I do that is I divide by that coefficient. And when I do that division, the 3's cancel out on the right-hand side, leaving me just with x. And it equals, well, 3 goes into 12 four times. So there's our answer, positive 4. So this problem is similar to number 4 on the front side. Remember, the test problems are very similar to problems that you're going to see on the, well, the study guide problems are very similar to problems that you're going to see on the test. So the next one we're going to do is a problem, are some inequalities. And so we'll do numbers 7 and 8 on the next part.